Hey there, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here with Dell's G7 15 15 inch mainstream gaming laptop. It has Intel 6 core Coffee Lake goodness on board, as well as NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 1060 Max Q design technology, all for a rather reasonable price point. What do you say we check it out? Dell's G7 15 15-inch gaming notebook is based on Intel 8th generation Coffee Lake processor technologies with a number of different configurations to choose from. You can opt for an Intel Core i5-8300HQ quad-core. We have specifically configured in this machine an Intel Core i7-8750HQ 6-core processor that boosts to 4.1 GHz. Or you can opt for a high-end Core i9-8950HQ 6-core that boosts to 4.8 GHz. There's also a number of different RAM configurations to choose from, from as little as 4 gigabytes to our machine 16 gigabytes of DDR4 or a max of 32 gigs total. You also get a number of different GPU options to choose from in the NVIDIA GeForce family, specifically an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 4 gigabyte card or a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti 4 gig or in our machine we have a GeForce GTX 1060 NVIDIA Max-Q design technology GPU with 6 gigabytes of GDD R5 memory. In terms of its power plant, there's a 57 watt hour four cell battery on board the G715. You also get a number of different storage configurations you can choose from. One terabyte 5400 RPM hybrid hard drive with eight gigabytes of cache. We happen to have a dual drive configuration here, 128 gig SSD plus one terabyte 5400 RPM hard drive. You can get that configuration up to a 256 gig SSD and one terabyte hard drive combo or you can opt for 256 gig SSD or 512 gig PCI Express NVMe SSDs as well. In terms of power plant options for the AC adapter, depending on the GPU you have configured, you have an option of a 130 watt AC adapter, or in this case, we have a 180 watt power brick right here. Pretty good size power brick, and that supports the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 Max-Q. GPU. And you are looking at the Alpine White version of the G7 model 7588 to be exact. Dell also makes it available in licorice black, but I do like the Alpine White with these silver accents, really sharp, sort of a pearlescent white. Magnesium alloy construction, 5.9 pounds to be exact. So solid machine, certainly on the weightier side, but it is a gaming notebook with some serious cooling in the back. We'll take a look at that shortly. This is where the cooling vents are here in the back. Dual front firing speakers on the front. And as you can see, sort of sloped forward in the front and sloped back in the back. Really sort of edgy, racy lines. I like it. And that G7 logo here looking sharp as well. On the right edge here, you've got a headphone jack, a pair of USB 3.1 with PowerShare ports. Full 40 gigabits per second Thunderbolt port and a full size HDMI port. And continuing on the left edge here, as you can see, this machine is well appointed in terms of I.O. options. Kensington lock port, power jack here, full wired gigabit Ethernet RJ45 jack, and that is killer networking enabled. Also on board is killer 802.11ac Wi-Fi technology for gaming and packet optimization for your gaming experiences and other services that you might choose to optimize and packet prioritize and also here is a USB 3.1 Gen 2 port and a full size SD memory card slot. So full size, not just micro SD, that is a full size memory card slot. So lots of good IO options on the Dell G7 gaming laptop. And in terms of access and serviceability of the G7, one screw right here on the bottom side of the machine and a little bit of careful spudging to release some plastic retention snaps all along the edge of the machine and voila you are into the bottom side of the dell g7 here you can see hard drive bay right here two and a half inch hard drive bay this is your ssd slot the m2 ssd slot and your wi-fi radio right there here's your battery you do get a pair of sodium slots for ddr4 and so full access and serviceability there and this of course is your cooling for the cpu and gpu heat pipe array dual squirrel cage fans venting out the back i'm not going to tear that down anymore but those are actually pretty large heat sinks that these heat pipes are connected to and these fans blow out 
and it actually draws cool air in from the bottom of the machine. But as you can see, getting access to the Dell G7 is actually pretty easy, and this machine is very user serviceable. Hard drive, SSD, radio for Wi-Fi, your dim slots, all of it is available as well as your battery. Now when it comes to displays, the G7 offers two options. There's the 1080p Full HD version you see here as well as a 4K version. Both are 15.6 inch IPS displays. Both are non-touch, both are anti-glare coating and so they are non-glossy type displays with good viewing angles. Decent brightness, I wouldn't say the 1080p panel here is the brightest display I've seen, but certainly good enough for gaming and both are 60 hertz panels. Now what I will say about the panel and lid design here is that there is a little bit of flex in this display and it's in the way that Dell designed the center mounted hinge here at the bottom and as a result the edges of the display aren't actually tethered to the base they're sort of swinging free and so there's a little bit of flex in the lid but that hinge is actually pretty well built and you can actually open and close the machine with one hand. Now the G7's keyboard is a well-built chiclet style deck. As you can see, backlit display. In this case, we have a nice blue hue radiating from behind the keys. And again, chiclet style keycaps with accented WAS and D keys for, for gaming, full-size numpad, and a spacious trackpad that has a nice soft touch surface to it. So a good setup here, no flex whatsoever in the keyboard area in the deck it is actually very solid. So a really good deck from a gaming standpoint for sure. And again, as long as you're good with those chiclet style keycaps, reasonably good travel, good tactility, and again, WASD accented for gamers. Now let's talk about performance. Here's a little Middle Earth Shadow of War, 1080p high image quality settings. And we're gonna score anywhere from 66 to 69 frames per second here. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a listen to the acoustics. I'm gonna fire up a dB meter. So as you can see, things can get a little bit loud. We're pushing 51, 52 dB under full gaming stress, but Definitely a high performance machine. Again, that GeForce GTX 1060 Max-Q, six gig of RAM, six gig GDDR5 memory. So this machine is really up to the task of 1080p gaming and then some 66 frames per second. It's gonna scale a little bit higher, I think, in Middle Earth Shadow of War. And here we are with a little bit of Rise of the Tomb Raider. Again, 1080p high image quality settings and the DX12 code path enabled here. We're gonna score about 82 frames per second in this benchmark. So serious horsepower with that GeForce GTX 1060 Max-Q 6 gigabyte GPU on board this machine. And also good horsepower for things like content creation and other non-gaming tasks. Now in terms of CPU performance, this G7's Intel Core i7-8750HQ 6-core processor is more than up to the task of content creation workloads like you'll find here in Cinebench R15 and it is going to score about 993 Cinebench points. Not bad at all for a notebook processor. Now when it comes to gaming, set your expectations reasonably. You've got a 6-core CPU, you've got a GeForce GTX 1060 Max-Q GPU in our case, and a 50 7 watt hour battery so you're not going to stay untethered from the wall for very long while gaming however in more general purpose productivity or video streaming or lighter duty use cases that are not gaming dell claims seven to eight hours of battery life in benchmarks like mobile marks battery test we are still stepping through the benchmark process as well as battery life testing so make sure you stop by hothardware.com for our full review in the days ahead but all in twelve hundred dollars as configured and tested here with the six core coffee lake cpu the geforce gtx 1060 max q gpu with six gig gddr5 16 gig of RAM, a 128 gig SSD, and a one terabyte hard drive, $1,200 all in, with a starting price of 849. Dell's G7 15, 15 inch gaming notebook is a real value. Make sure you stop by hothardware.com again though for a full review, hit thumbs up and subscribe. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware with the Dell G7 15, 15 inch gaming notebook. Thanks for stopping by.